Hello guys and welcome back to lead logics. This is the maximum product of two elements in an array problem. This is a lead code easy and the number for this is 1464. So given in the problem we are having an array of integers nums and we have to choose two indices from the nums array such that we can return the maximum value of nums of i minus 1 into nums of j minus 1. So we want to maximize this value nums of i minus 1 and nums of j minus 1. So let's see uh, three examples how we are going to do this so suppose we have this example 3 4 5 2 so in this uh, will 3 and 4 give the maximum so 3 and 4 will give 2 into 3 that is 6 4 into 5 so 4 into 5 will give 3 into 4 that is 12 and 5 into 2 will give 4 into 1 that is 4 so the maximum comes from 5 and 4 and the answer becomes 12 because 4 minus 1 is 3, 5 minus 1 is 4, 3 into 4 gives 12. And let's see similarly, we have 1, 5, 4, 5. So will 1, 5 give the maximum answer? No. Will 4, 5 give the maximum answer? 4, 5 will give four, uh, 12. Uh, will this 4, 5 give the maximum answer? No. Can this 5 and 5 give the maximum answer? Yes, this 5 and 5 can give the maximum answer that is 60. So this is our possible answer. So for this, if you are asked in an interview, what will be your brute force approach? So the brute force approach to solve this problem will be to uh, use two for loops, one for the uh, ith index and the second for the jth index and keep counting the maximum value of of this factor this factor and uh, and storing it uh, whenever it is maximum and then at the end you can return the answer but the interviewer might ask you to optimize it and I have optimized the solution to uh, to be solved in a single pass that is O of n solution I will be providing you so the O of n solution provide uh, requires you to take two uh, take two variables max1 and max2 so this max1 and max2 variables are acting nothing but actually the largest and the second largest element in the array if you see in in this array you will find a pattern that the answer always comes from the largest and the second large largest multiplications so that's why we are uh, going to solve like this you can we are going to take the max1 and we are going to take the max2 and we are going to iterate over the array and uh, whenever we find an element greater than max1 we can update the max1 and whenever we find the greater than max2 we can update the max2 and similarly adjust the max1 and max2 and at the end what we can do is that we can uh, simply multiply the max1 minus 1 and max2 minus 1 and you will get the final answer so the if you see for this example in the first iteration is 3 the maximum yes 3 is the maximum take 3 max 2 is still minus infinity from in the second iteration is 4 greater than max 1 yes so 4 becomes max 1 and 3 becomes max 2 then comes the third iteration array element becomes 5 is 5 greater than max 1 yes it is so make 5 as max 1 and 4 becomes max 2 then in the fourth uh, fourth iteration array elements become 2 is it greater than max 1 no so we can pass so this is how we are going to solve it so let's come to the code section but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you want uh, i can write the brute force approach as well so in the brute force approach we are going to do nothing i equal to zero is less than n nums dot length i plus plus
so this is the brute force solution which you can come at, uh, come up with in an interview and the interviewer might be happy with the brute force but he would definitely ask you to optimize this solution uh, so i am going to submit it and check if it doesn't give a tle i don't i don't think it should give a tle but it doesn't give a very good time complexity or a memory complexity so for this we need to uh, optimize this solution and how we are going to optimize this you see this two loops we want to reduce it to one loop and how we are going to do this so we are going to take instead of the maximum we are going to take a max one initialize with integer dot min value and also the max two the max one and max two will store the largest and the second largest element of the array and then we are going to iterate over the loop and update the max one and max two so if num is greater than equal to max one max two equal to max one and max one equal to num and else if num is greater than equal to max two so max two becomes num and we can go simply out of the loop return max1 minus 1 into max2 minus 1 let's see if it's run for the sample test cases So okay, the sample test cases are passed. Let's try to run for the hidden test cases as well. So the hidden test cases are also passed and with a good uh, time complexity and a fair memory complexity. So the time complexity for this solution is O of n because we are iterating through the array once. And the space complexity is O of 1. As we use a constant amount of space, we do not use any extra space except for the variables which are constant. So I hope you understood the logic, both the brute force and the optimized approach. You can also check the C++ Java and the Python, C++ JavaScript and the Python code in the solutions panel by going into the solution and checking this solution. This is my solution. You can see the handle and you can read the intuition approach complexities and the code Java, C++, Python, JavaScript. And yes, remember me to upload. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you understood it. Like it, uh, please do like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day.